Hello and welcome! It's time for me to go through some more of these penny rolls that I got from my local coin store. My LCS um, does wrap up the bulk and will sell them to me for face value, so that is awesome. So I'm getting 50 cents worth of pennies in here, and there could be good stuff, there could be just circulated coins. I don't know till I open them, but it is definitely a fun thing to do. Um, and I'm very thankful I have a coin shop that does this for me. So that is awesome. So I have six. I have seven more set aside, but I only have 13 of these. Um, and the last hunt, I uh, did go through some of the uh, dated rolls, and they were 100% dates. And I went through the rest of those. Didn't really find anything in those. Maybe a couple of nice ones to hang on to, but otherwise, the rest are circulated. So I've got six here. We're going to go through on this side. And then seven on the next. So let's crack these open and see what's in here. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Okay, and as I start here, I'm going to do this like I do the other. We're going to crack them open, pump them out. I'm going to do two rolls at a time. Since I've got six, I can do two at a time. And that is awesome. We're going to pour these out and take a look and see what's in here. Real quick, see if there anything stands out as awesome finds in here. Um, this one is a more circulated roll. Lots of browned copper scents in here. 70s, 60s, memorials. Oh, oh, we have a wheat. Didn't zoom in at all. We have a wheat here. 1952 Denver. Cool. So, first roll, first wheat. That is awesome. Let's see. Anything else standing out? 59. Uh, there's a pretty nice 1993. It does have a pretty sizable fingerprint on it, but otherwise that is a pretty solid 93 there. Pretty nice nonetheless. All right, that roll looks pretty well circulated. So let's check this roll. This is a different wrapper. I haven't gotten any of these wrappers before from the coin shop, so let's take a look and see if there's anything awesome in here. Got an 82 on one end. And a brown, looks like an 81. So let's see what is in this roll. Anything standing out. 80s, 80s, looks like this might be a roll of 80s. I've got 80s through 89 here is what I'm seeing. This is just a random circulated roll of 80s. Oh, there's a 59 in the middle. A lone 59 out of Denver, hiding out in the middle. Yep, so that is a roll of 80s. All right, let me go through here and take a look and see what is going on with these. I'll set aside any finds and be right back and let you know what I find. And then we'll crack into some more rolls. All right, so no real finds in those rolls. We did have the one wheat. And I've got this 93 set aside to see if it is anything worth keeping or not. So let's go ahead and top out a couple more of these rolls and see what's in here. See if we have any other cool stands out. All right, this one, I see 70s and 60s. This is a circulated roll. There's a 90s. So this just looks like a random roll of circulated scents. Um, looks like it is all memorials and all from 60s, 70s, 90s. There's an 80. All right. So 60s through 90s. That's what I'm seeing in that roll. Just of a quick few. Well, let's crack into this roll. See if we find anything else in here that is pretty cool. All right, here we go. Okay, let's see here. 
Looks like another circular to roll. I'm seeing 59. There's a 60 out of Denver. I'm definitely gonna check that for some varieties. Um, 70s, 60s. It looks like another roll of mostly Memorial wheat scents. Um, Memorial copper scents. 2009 out of Denver. That is a zinc plated, copper coated zinc. There, um, there's another 1960 out of Denver. Okay, so some stuff to search through, um, interesting things to look for. Uh, hopefully, we'll be back and show you some more uh, cool stuff that I found in here. Otherwise, got two more rolls to go through. All right, no finds in that, those two rolls. So let's crack into these to see if we got anything going on. If we don't find anything, maybe I'll just go ahead and add the other seven rolls to the hunt. But we shall see, we shall see. Let's see what's going on in here. Sometimes you're just gonna go through rolls and find that you just have a bunch of face value coins in them. All right, let's see. Oh, I see some shield scents in this roll. So, let's see. What do we have? What do we have here? See a bunch of memorial scents. Um, it's 1987. That one looks like it's missing the plating and has been just destroyed so far. Could be that uh, someone put it in some chemical and stripped it off, what have you. And there's no way to know for sure. I'll take a good look at it, but it is pretty destroyed, so not really worth worth anything other than a scent right now. Next roll. Anything interesting in this roll? Let's take a look and see what we got going on here. All right, so in this roll, it's like a lot of brown scents here. Um, oh, there's a Well, it looks nice, but it is definitely got artificial toning on it. Had some chemical or something get on there and try that way. Otherwise, it was really nice looking uh, scent there. Nice quality surfaces and everything. All right, there's a pretty nice 1959 out of Denver. Another 2009. Um, there. And then a couple other nice scents. Another you know, artificial colors, damaged, environmentally damaged coin there. Um, okay, well, nothing else is standing out here. So let me uh, go through these. We'll see if anything's going on with them. And then, yeah, uh, I'll be right back. Well, I missed it, but uh, working my way through, looks like we have a wheat in one of these two rolls. Another wheat. This is a 1958 out of Denver. That is two wheats, two, two wheats in these rolls. Well, there were no real finds in any of those rolls, so I grabbed the other seven. Um, I was doing about 10 rolls per hunt before, so let's just keep on with this. Uh, so this is now a 13 roll hunt. So let's check out these, see if we have any finds as I dump them out, and then we'll continue on like we've been doing. Um, hopefully we've come across something cool but you know, sometimes you're just gonna have hunts where you don't find anything. We've already hit two weeks. We've got some nice coins up here that I'm probably going to add to my collection just to have some nicer coins there. But otherwise, no real finds. There were a lot of things to check for in these rolls. A lot of dates with a lot of varieties on those dates, but nothing on those coins. All right, nothing stands out in that roll. Let's make a hole and do a second roll here. See if there's anything interesting in this roll. Um, let us see what we have going on here. 
Oh, I see a weedy. So we got our third weedy for the hunt. Um, so let's pull that out take a look at it. It's probably going to be another 50s. This is pretty well struck. 1958 out of Denver. Yeah, when you find them in nice shape like that, most likely they are um, the 50s. Especially when you find them in uh, circulated rolls. There's another wheat scent there in the middle. Let me just take a quick peek at the rest of these and see if I see anything else. I don't see anything else going on with the rest of them. So we got a wheat scent. 1940. Nice. That is a oldest wheat set we have found in these rolls so far um yeah so i see some 50s and a few other things but there are plenty of things for me to look through i will let you know if i come across anything else and um we will get some more rolls going well those rolls didn't have a lot going on with them either so let's dump out these next two rolls and see what we got and then we'll do three rolls at the end here all right, let's see. It's like more circulated sense there. Um, 60s on the Royal Backs. 60s, 60s. This looks like a roll of 60s. Circulated 60s. Okay. Not much going on with that roll. It looks like it looks like it's all 60s. There are plenty of varieties and stuff to look for from the 60s. So I'll be checking those out for that. And if I come across anything else interesting, definitely let you know there. Roll number two for this uh, section. I had one penny that didn't want to come out of the rolls there. Let's see, 80s, Royal 80s, 90s, that looks like an 80s, 90 roll of memorials there. Okay, well that looks like these might be some quick rolls to go through. Fingers crossed we find something, but if not, we got three rolls left. Well, so far, we've kept on theme. Nothing interesting in those rolls. I mean, we have had a few weed scents, so that's nice. Um, and find a weed sense and face value rolls from the coin store is always awesome to do. But I have found some interesting stuff in some of the other rolls, but these rolls may be not as interesting. These just might be circulated stuff. And looking here on this roll, um, I'm not seeing any wheats, nothing really standing out as a look at me coin. So we got that roll poured out. Let's pull out this roll and then we'll pull out the third. That one has a shield scent on the end, so this one might be another just circulated roll with some random stuff in it. Alright, 70s, 80s, there's 2000s. 64, 2022, this looks like it is just a random roll of scents, 2022, 2023, yeah, looks like a random roll of newer scents. Last roll, last roll for this hunt, last roll of the pennies I have, currently have from the coin store. Now we do have a 2009 ender, so we have at least one more 2009 for our stack up here. Um, so we shall see what else is in with that roll here. Well, there's a couple of 2009s. Oh, I think we might have one of the, um, well, we'll get to it here in a second. Some more circulated stuff. Pretty nice 2009. There's another standard circulating copper-coated zinc scent. That is a really nice really nice 2005 holy cow that is going up here that might be from a mint set it's another 2009 this one zoom in a little bit 
This one looks like it is a possibly could be from the mint set, the ones that were made on copper planchets. So the old style copper scents there. Let's take a quick comparison of these two. That is a copper coat of zinc. This one has that mate and more yellowishy look to it. So that one does look like a um, copper planchet from the mint set. So that is there. There's a pretty nice shiny 1969S. That is really nice. That almost looks like a proof. Were proofs made in San Francisco in 69? I don't remember what day they switched over from Philadelphia to San Francisco. But it looks like it's a proof. So I'm going to put it up here as a possible proof find. Um, we might have a couple more of those. That one is so dirty. I can't tell for sure. I will be weighing these up. It kind of looks like it might be. There is a nice... Well, not nice, but that one is a copper-coated zinc for sure. Pretty nice. 1990 out of Denver. There. So this last roll definitely has some interesting stuff in it. Denver. There's another 2009. That one is a copper-coated zinc, I can tell. Another copper-coated zinc. This one, we have another 2009 out of Denver. This one looks like the circulated uh, or the uncirculated mint set version. We'll put that over there and we will weigh those up and make sure it's really shiny, but fingerprinted coin there. We have a couple more 2009s here. These both have some circulation wear on them and are both copper coated zincs. Uh huh. We do have another one. This is another one of those copper planchet mint sets. Now I did find some some other of those in another one of these rolls. And here's another copper planchet mint set coins. Um, and then the ender was the 2009 that is a zinc. So I did find a couple other of the mint set ones in some of these rolls. So I was hoping I would find a few more and it looks like we did. All right, so that roll was pretty interesting. Saved the best for last, I guess. There's a decent, not perfect, but has some nice uh, surfaces on this 90, 1990. Pretty solid 1990. So I'm gonna add that to the stack up here as potentially to hold on to and check against Seattle. All right, well, let me get through the rest of these and then uh, we'll pull out the my scale and I'll weigh those up and just verify that they are copper planchets. If I can remember what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back and we'll break down what we got here. All right, so there were no real finds in those um, in those rolls other than what we went over in the beginning. Um, so I'm gonna break out my scale here and we'll weigh up these um, extra cents which look like they are going to be, um, let's see, let me uh, move some of the stuff out of the way first. And we'll go over all this in a little bit. Oh, the 1969, I looked it up and I should remember this. Um, in 1965, six and seven, they went to SMS sets. Um, they didn't do proof or mint sets. So the, before then, proofs were minted in Philadelphia. And in 68 on, they were minted in San Francisco. So that is a proof. That is definitely a proof. Um, even though they did produce circulating coins in um, those years, it was definitely, um, that is definitely a proof. It has all the proof look to it. All right, so let me turn this on. And um, Zinks. The copper coated zinc, the ones that are for circulation, should weigh 2.5 approximately. 2.51, I think, is the average. And if we put two on, it should be right around five. So, just for sake of time, I'm going to quickly weigh all these up. Should be five. Two more should be 10. Yep. Two more should be 15. And a little bit light, that is fine. And then one more. Should be right around 1750. 
1748. A couple of tenths of grams light there is within mint tolerances. Okay, these three I am 99% sure are copper. I guess I could zoom in a little bit so you can see. 3.11, that is a copper planchet. 3.10, close enough. And 3.14, a little bit over, but not gonna play and get a couple of tenths less of copper. All right, these three, um, they have kind of a, a weird look to them from circulation, but I think these are all zincs from the look of them. This one definitely is a zinc. Um, 2.51, these. Um, I think they just have some cloudy surfaces. So let's see, 2.5 and 2.5 yep both zincs so there we have it there and uh i did pop a link for the um scale i use if you don't have one and you'd like to have one and the reason why i got this one it goes up to 50 grams i believe it comes with when you calibrate it, it does have a 50 gram weight that comes with it and other scales don't so you have to find your own weight to calibrate with that one came with one. Oh. One more thing, I forgot to check these four double dies, and we ended up having one. I was, after I filmed the outro, I was like, oh, I better check these. And we do have an extra finger. There are, I think, over 40 of these listed out on the websites. Four double dies, so this is double die reverse. If I can figure out which one it is, I'll pop up a picture and show you, but otherwise, that is a pretty cool find nonetheless. Okay, so here we have the finds for the hunt. Nothing super major, but there's one thing I do want to share with you here in just a second. Um, did hit a bunch of 2009s. So got three 2009 copper planchets, and these were made with the same specifications that was the 1909 uh, consistency, which I believe is the same as these four wheats here. Um, it might be slightly off. Might have changed through the years, but uh, they weigh the same. So... We had... hmm. All right, so time to wrap up here. Um, had some fun finds. I got one more to show you here that I just uh, went back and double checked for on these 2009s, and that is this. We have a 2009 uh, with an extra finger. Um, when I was looking through these after I got done weighing them, I realized I hadn't double checked for varieties and stuff. This one has an extra finger there. Now there are over. Um, 40 of them or so listed out on the websites so if i figure that one out i will let you know what it is so that's cool to find a variety um only variety found we did hit the proof 1969 four wheat cents oldest one being a 1940 three copper planchet 2009s which is the same um metallic mix as the wheat cents um the mint set says that they use the the exact same composition as the 1909 pennies so there might be some slight differences over the years between the 1909 1940 and these but if you do have a mint set you uh, from 2009 um, you will see that in the composition and the breakdown of the metals there i think it's 97 98 percent copper off the top of my head then we had regular circulating zinc copper coated scents here that were i think copper plated there as well um so not a lot of major finds in this hunt. We did hit one variety, so that is cool. And that kind of came at the end here with all the rest of these. So I was going through them. So that was fun. Had some wheat scents, had a proof, had some copper, uh, copper 2009 pennies. So can't beat that there. Have some coins to check against the albums. The nice ones, I'm probably going to hold on to a few of those. And if there is anything in the album, we'll go over it at the end here. All right. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, helps me out. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.